Hello, I was on a webinar recently about Articulate Storyline and there was a question, there was a question there and the question was how do you turn off navigation in your Articulate Storyline project so it forces people to have to use the, the next button and so forth rather than having navigation down the side. Well, let me show you. So first of all, let me just show you this course. So I'm going to preview this, uh, this course just to show you what the person wanted turned off. So here we have it. So we've got all those bits down the left hand side here and we wanted all of that turned off. There's also bits here about sound and we've got different settings and there's the navigation buttons and we've got the resources and we've got the title as well. So just something to make you aware of. If you click on this little button here, then it'll collapse this menu. There we go. Collapses that. But that's not what they wanted to do. They, they wanted more than that, but I thought I'd make you aware of it. So let me show you what they wanted to do. So what they wanted to do was this. Go to player, yeah, so your player up there, it brings up this player option. And on the left hand side, you've got all of the bits that we saw. So you've got menu, so clicking on that and unclicking it, it's removed it. You've got the title, you've got volume, captions, uh, accessibility controls, all of that are turned off. So the only bits that are left on are the previous and the next buttons. And I'm going to show you how to turn them off as well. But for most of my courses, I just have it, you know, in the menu and everything like that, the title all removed. Once you've done that, you click OK. And let me just preview this for you. So I'm just going to preview the entire project. And whilst I've got your attention, don't forget to like the video and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anyway, this is what we've got now. So we no longer have on the left hand side, we no longer have that menu. So the user can't click on different bits and they can't go, they can't just jump around. Uh, the title's gone as well. Um, but we do still have the navigation buttons so the user can still navigate. If I close that though, I'm going to show you just a couple of other little bits whilst I've got your attention. So I'll go back into player. So you've got the player style, you've got the modern or the classic style, switch to classic. Uh, we've added over a dozen exclusive features in the model, modern version. Continue using the modern player. I'm going to say no, I don't want to use the modern one. Because just let me do it, please, Storyline. It's asking me all these questions. Why do you wish to go to back to a classic player? Because I'm trying to demo something. There we go. I've gone back to a classic player, which has got your previous and next buttons and, and so forth. Anyway, I don't want that. Let's go back to modern. You've also got menu controls on and off. So, you know, I removed all of these. You can just simply go to menu controls and go to off. And that will also get rid of all those things as well. Now, if we press OK. Let's preview this now. So I'm going to preview the entire project. And we've got it all, but the problem is I can't navigate. I can't do the previous next button because they've been turned off as well. Okay, so that was in player. That was in menu controls and that was off. Okay, so I've removed the previous and next buttons. Now, the problem with that is that the person can't navigate. But you might want that because you might have created your own previous and next buttons. So I'm just going to do it very quickly. I'll just zoom in here. I'll just, yeah, oops, there you go, next. Let's just say, I'll create a button that says next. Create a trigger for it. And the trigger is jump to the next slide when the user clicks that button. There we go. And I'll create another one that says previous. By the way, these would look a lot prettier if I was doing it not so quickly. So previous, prev, prev. There you go, we're gonna to jump to next slide. We're not gonna to jump to the next slide, we're gonna to jump to the previous slide. So we're gonna to jump to slide, previous slide. Let's just try this out. I'm going to preview the entire project. So there we go, we can jump to the next slide. And if I built it on the next slide as well, you could then yeah, jump to the previous. So there you go. There's a quick solution for you. Let me just show you how quickly it is. I'm just copying and pasting them. Look at this. So that's what I've done. I've already created them. You can just now copy and paste. Let me just show you that working. I wasn't going to show you previous and next buttons in this video, but I've got a little bit carried away. There you go. Next, previous, next, previous, next, next, previous, previous. So that's when I've actually removed the player buttons. Remember that is in player. 
So it's a menu and controls. I've turned them off entirely. So these are off when I choose off at the top. And I've also turned off the menu and everything like that. Hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more top tech tips and more videos about Articulate Storyline and Camtasia and things like that. And uh, thank you very much for watching.